In this lesson we'll talk about selecting a disk type. When selecting a type of disk for use in Windows Server 2016, you can choose between basic and dynamic disks. Basic disk. Basic storage uses partition tables that are used by all versions of the Windows operating system. A basic disk is initialized for simple storage and contains partitions such as primary partitions and extended partitions. You can subdivide extended partitions into logical volumes. By default, when you initialize a disk in the Windows operating system, the disk is configured as a basic disk. It is easy to convert basic disks to dynamic disks without any data loss. However, when you convert a dynamic disk to basic disk, all data on the disk is lost. So please consider planning this. You can always create a simple disk, convert it to dynamic disk. But you cannot create dynamic disk and convert it to basic disk without data lost. There is no performance gain when you convert basic disk to dynamic disks. And some programs cannot address data that is stored on dynamic disks. For these reasons, most administrators do not convert basic disks to dynamic disks unless they need to use some of the additional volume configuration options that dynamic disks provide. Some words about dynamic disk. Dynamic storage enables you to perform disk and volume management without having to restart computers that are running Windows operating systems. A dynamic disk is a disk that you initialize for dynamic storage and that contains dynamic volumes. Dynamic disks are used for configuring fault-tolerant storage. When you configure dynamic disks, you create volumes rather than partitions. A volume is a storage unit that is made from free space on one or more disks. You can format the volume with the file system and then assign it a letter or configure it with a mount point. Regardless of which type of disk you use, you must configure both a system volume and a boot volume on one of the server's hard disk. The system volume contains the hardware-specific files that the Windows operating system needs to load, such as boot manager or boot sector .back. The system volume can be the same as the boot volume, although this is not required. The boot volume contains the Windows operating system files that are in the system root and system root backslash system32 folders. The boot volume can be the same as the system volume, although this is not required. When you install the Windows 10 operating system or Windows Server 2016 operating system in a clean installation, a separate system volume is created you can subsequently choose to use to enable encrypting the boot volume by using BitLocker drive encryption.